Parents hope it'll be changing yeah. next week. We'll see. <laughs> now, now to the front lines of this crisis. It is not just doctors in the emergency rooms or the ICUs that are dealing directly with the impact of the coronavirus. Yeah, all doctors are fielding countless calls and trying to help their patients navigate this difficult time. We talked to a local physician whose patients are high risk and highly concerned. A lot of fear, a lot of fear, and the patients are affected. I've had quite a few phone calls with people who have high fevers, chills, and shortness of breath. Dr. Sean Jayakar is a geriatric specialist at Ascension St. John Hospital. The coronavirus has changed his practice. Um, we're handling a lot of things over the phone. Um, really, we want people to stay away from the hospitals if possible. Only go if you're really sick. One symptom that is a red flag. If you really are having trouble breathing, it probably is a good idea to go to the emergency room and make sure you call the emergency room ahead of time so the hospitals can take precaution. But if your symptoms are mild. <laughs> there are also a lot of patients who are just having fever. If all you're having is fever and some body aches, the best thing to do is to rest. Take Tylenol, rest, drink plenty of fluids, stay home, isolate yourself, if possible, isolate yourself from the rest of the family. Dr. J.R. Carr says it is critical for everyone to follow the recommendations to stay home. A lot of younger people will get this virus, but a lot of them will not show significant symptoms. In fact, a lot of them might not have any symptoms at all. The problem for younger people is that they can spread it to the elderly. They can spread it to people who have pre-existing medical conditions, such as those with diabetes, heart failure, lung diseases. Steps he's taking with his own family. I have elderly parents, and my wife also has uh, elderly parents, and we're doing our best to keep them away from the kids. I think it's really good what the measures we're taking, though, because we have to isolate. We have to stay away so that we do not spread this virus. Yeah, and Dr. Jayakar says he understands people are concerned, but if you would have not gone to the hospital for your symptoms a month ago, he says you should not go now. Yeah, instead, check in with your own doctor. You can also call one of the many hotlines that have been set up to answer questions about the coronavirus, and we've put a, a growing list together at clickondetroit.com.